What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash that button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Cap two side to everybody in between. Don't be the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Profile. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I know my hair looks a little wackadoo, but I was out. I walked almost ten miles today, so uh, it's just greasy, and that's just true. So, but we're gonna do the reading, okay? Love you guys. Okay, so I received a channeling in. Um, thanks to all the uh, personal readings. I hope they have helped you guys. I really, really, really do. If you want to leave me a positive review on Google Reviews uh, with my business, High Persistent Intuition, I very much appreciate it. I appreciate it. There's one person that already has. So, um, just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, uh, Pisces um, is about to be, uh, I heard they already have been under heavy fire and I heard they're going, going to continue to be under heavy fire. Regarding a court case of the past, I heard they used false receipts regarding a home and an illegal business. Um, I heard um, I heard heavy legal issues. So I don't know if they've already incurred heavy legal issues over this or they're about to. Um, how that resonates, but um, I heard um, they want to take a Leo feminine to court and hold her up in the court of law. But it's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. Uh, because if they do this, this Leo feminine will cream them, is what I heard. It will backfire in such a huge way. Such a huge way. That's what I just heard. It will backfire in such a huge way, such a huge way. Now, I don't know if it's a Pisces masculine or feminine. They can have Pisces in any aspects of their charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, with Jupiter charts. It can be a masculine or feminine Pisces. But they have went to, it sounds like a previous court situation, and they have used, they used some kind of false receipts. Um, and it was regarding a house and an illegal business. Um, how this resonates in the universe. It sounds like they won something or got something. Um, how that resonates. I'm going to pull a kipper to see if we can figure out what the crap they got. Uh, but, uh, but... Now, it's something to do with the Leo feminine. I heard a house and an illegal business, so I'm thinking it was voyeur camera energy. Definite voyeur camera energy. Definite voyeur camera energy. I heard heavy legal issues. I don't know if they've already occurred for them in the universe or they're about to, but that's confirmation. It was definite voyeur camera energy. But I heard this uh, Pisces wants to, now they're pissed, and they want to take a Leo Feminine to the court of law and have them hold up in legal issues and what have you, what have you. Uh, very spiteful, mean, cold, malicious energy, basically. But I heard it will seriously backfire if they, if they do this. Sounds like they haven't done it yet. But if they do it, it will seriously backfire because I heard the Leo Feminine will cream them. I mean, double confirmation, double deuces confirmation of cream them. So, I mean, like, it sounds like the Leo Feminine has some kind of substantial evidence that will just blow it out of the water. Heavy evidence. Heavy evidence. Real evidence. Real evidence. Heavy, real evidence is what I just heard. I heard this Pisces used false receipts to garner something in the court of law. Um, now, I didn't hear what they garnered. It might, I think it might have been money or something. It was regarding an illegal business and uh, uh, illegal business, a home, and uh, voyeur camera energy. But I'm sure this Pisces didn't say it was voyeur camera energy. Um, but um, how that resonates? Hell, I don't know. I don't go around, I don't specialize in criminal, and that's just the damn truth. They're about to ever regret they did this. Ever regret it. Okay, I heard they're about to ever regret they did this. They're about to ever regret it. So I heard they're about to ever regret they did it. Ever regret it. And the judge that made the ruling knew it wasn't the Leo Feminine. 
They are about to be under a huge, heavy investigation, and it's about not to go well for this judge. Earth sign, masculine judge. Oh, my God. Okay, so, and I heard the judge that made the ruling. They knew it wasn't the Leo feminine. Uh, they knew it wasn't. Um, so, I'm thinking the Pisces probably was doppelganging the Leo, Leo femme, or they frauded the Leo femme signature on some kind of... Um, paperwork um saying they were going in for the leo fem or something of that nature but how that resonates um it was regarding an illegal business and a home of the past but um it sounds like it was the leo fem's home um and it was some kind of voyeur camera energy but there's a reason the pisces went in pretending basically to be the leo feminine i heard the ursine masculine judge knew it wasn't the leo fem so he knew it wasn't her, whether it was a signed document saying that, hey, I can be there for you, or it was just somebody going in there pretending and frauding and doppelganging a person saying they were blah, 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 blah. I didn't hear specifically, but I heard the earth sign judge is about to be under very heavy investigation and it's not going to go well for him. He's a Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge. He could have Taurus Capricorn Virgo and a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they mean having a Jupiter charge. You plug in and how it resonates, man. I pulled Great Fortune. It was over a Great Fortune. Number 26 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 26. And number 13, we have Wealthy Man Reversed. It was definitely over money. This person is about to ever regret they did this. Ever regret it. Legal issues are about to come all over the place for this person. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard it was definitely over money, definitely over the money, and uh, legal issues are about to come all, come all over the place for this person. So it was over a great fortune. It was over money. And legal issues are about to come all over the place for this person. So I don't think it's just going to be one legal issue. It's, it sounds like it's going to be many for this person. Um, but it was over money. It was over a great fortune. Wealthy man reversed. So I think they're about to get in heavy legal issues with many people. Or many situations. How that resonates and applies. Wealthy man reverse. This Ursine masculine judge is about to ever regret doing this. He already regrets it. He's about to regret it even more. He's about to out this Pisces. Oh my God. So I think this might be the Ursine masculine judges energy. A wealthy man reverse. Damn judges. I, I presume they make good money. I presume. I don't know. I'm not judge, but I presume they do. But he's pulling up as the wealthy man reverse. Um, I heard he's already regretted doing this um, particular court case regarding this Pisces. Um, I'm assuming either presenting frauded uh, document or doppelganging a person saying that they are a person that they're not. I heard the judge knew it wasn't the Leo Femme, so I think they might have pretended they were the person. Maybe dressed up like them. Maybe they look similar to them. I didn't hear doppelganger in here, but I, I feel it. But I heard he already regrets it. He's about to regret it even more. I think he's lost a lot of money or he's about to lose a lot, lose a lot of money. Maybe he gets, um, I don't know what it's called when the judges lose their jobs. Um, the, I don't know. what. Uh, maybe he loses his job. I know it's really hard to get a judge out of office. Uh, there has to be substantial evidence. But um, he's pulling up his wealthy man reverse is what I'm saying. So I don't know if he just is a not not a good spender he doesn't manage his money well or he um maybe he's gonna lose his job i heard it's not gonna go well for him so you plug it in how it resonates oh my god
And another court case is intentionally being held up right now. A child custody battle case. But through many series of chain events, it's about to speed up in a huge way. Many people behind the scenes are trying to intentionally hold it up. But as much as they're trying to intentionally hold it up, it's about to go whether they want it to or not. Through many series of chain events. Okay, and then, okay, so we have two court cases in here. So that's court case number one. We're at 10 minutes and 30 seconds, so that's court case number one. Court case number two, after 10 minutes and 30 seconds, um, is a child custody battle um, uh, energy court case. And I heard somebody is intentionally behind the scenes, or not one person, many people I heard, many people behind the scenes are intentionally holding this child custody battle court case up. They're intentionally stagnating it, basically. But they're doing it behind the scenes, so like the public don't know, or the plaintiff or defendant don't know, I'm presuming, or the plaintiff or defendant don't know, or the children don't know, or something of that nature. But people behind, many, I heard many people behind the scenes are trying to intentionally hold it up. So, but I heard the many series of chain events, it's about to go, whether they want it to or not, it's about to go. And I heard it's going to go fast. It's about to go fast! fast it's about to go fast so you plug it in how it resonates there's about to be phone call after 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 phone call oh my god after phone call 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 oh my god that's a lot of phone calls so a lot of phone call energy um somebody's about to blow up somebody's phone now i don't know who's about to blow up somebody's phone but somebody is um whoever is about I'm assuming somebody's intentionally stagnating this child custody battle case. But somebody's about to blow up somebody's phone. I don't know if it's a judge they're about to blow up somebody's, uh, somebody's about to blow up a judge's phone. Or, somebody's, or a judge is about to blow up somebody's phone. We have a heavy judge energy in here. Or somebody's about to blow up a lawyer's phone. Or somebody's about to blow up the plaintiff or defendant's phone. Or somebody, somebody's about to make some phone calls. And somehow it's going to make this child custody battle case that's intentionally being stuck and stagnant intentionally behind the scenes by many people go fast official reporting energy is significant in here and someone knows they were strictly in it for the money they're about to make a very uh, official report Official reporting is significant in here, and somebody knows somebody was in it strictly for the money, and they're about to make a very official report. So you could be the person about to make the very official report because you know somebody in this child custody battle was doing it strictly for money. Now, whether it was the plaintiff or the defendant or what have you, what have you, but you know somebody in this child custody battle that's intentionally being stagnant right now, held stagnant, um, you know they were in it strictly for the money, basically. If that resonates but so you're about to make an official report whatever it sounds like whatever you're about to put in the official report is about to make it move very fast because you know somebody in this is in it strictly for the money if that resonates and applies for you child abuse is very heavy in this very heavy Child abuse is very heavy in this, very heavy. So somebody's in this is strictly for the money and some kind of child abuse energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel for one of you guys, you could be the one about to make the official report. Um, for one, you could be the plaintiff or defendant in this child custody battle right now that's intentionally being held stagnant. Um, or you could be the one about to make the official report. I heard child abuse, so I think you're about to, if you're the one about to make the report, only you know you're sorting out anybody else. Um, I think you're going to make the child abuse plan, uh, report to Child Protective Services, is what I feel. 
but only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Hopefully you have some kind of substantial evidence or you have witnessed something or something of that nature that substantiates this report. Um, just saying, just saying. Right, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard it's going to make a move very fast. So like eight of wands with five, five, five. You plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am, if you're the one about to make the Child Protective Service report um, or not. You plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.